This video is going to talk about horizontal and vertical lines. So, we want to identify the coordinates of these points. What do the coordinates of the points have in common? Well, we know that this point right here is run 4, jump 2. This one is run 4, jump 0. And this point is run 4, jump negative 3, or fall down 3. So these all have the same x coordinate, because that first coordinate is the same for all of these. The first coordinate is called the x coordinate. They all have the number 4. So the x coordinate of all these points is 4. Which x, what will the x-coordinate be for different points on the red line? Well, we know that we're at negative 2, 3 right here. Negative 2, 3. Will negative 2, 5 be on this line? Yes, because negative 2 still means it's going to be somewhere on the red line. Negative 2, negative 5 will end up being right here. And I know this because I remember it's run, then jump. Will negative 2, 156 be on this line? Yes, because I'm going to run negative 2 and then jump all the way up to wherever 156 is. What about the point negative 3, 3? Will that be on this line? No, because that means run negative 3. 3. So negative 3, 3 is going to be somewhere on that line instead. It would be just one point off. So let's see if these pairs are on the same vertical lines. Remember that vertical is the up and down. Vertical goes up and down. Remember that the x is running across. The y is going up and down. So are we looking for the x or the y to be the same? In these problems, we are looking for the x coordinate to be the same. Because once you run that, whatever you run, let's say it's negative 2 still. Once you've run negative 2, that means that your location is going to change somewhere vertically but you've already set the, the location. So you know they're all on the same line. They're all somewhere in that up and down area. So we want the X to be the same. So for letter A, yes, these are going to be on the same vertical line. Letter B, these have, well, because A had two and two. I'm sorry, I didn't make that clear. In letter B, we have negative 12, negative 9, negative 2, negative 9. These are going to be on the same horizontal line because they're both going to fall negative 9, and they're going to be somewhere along that line right there. Letter C, we have which number in common? We have the x in common. So because we have the x in common in letter C, yes, they are going to be on the same vertical line. Letter D also has the x units in common, so those are going to be on the same vertical line. Letter E has ends right there. It's a little bit difficult to see. Letter E has the same x coordinate. So they're both going to be somewhere on that one half. But if we look at letter F, negative a half and a half are not the same. Negative a fourth and negative a fourth are. So this is going to be on the vertical, on the horizontal line, excuse me. The second coordinate is called the Y coordinate. So, let's say that we're looking, excuse me, let's say that we're looking at the point 6, 2. That means I'm going to run 6 and jump up 2. 
how do I get all of another point that's going to be on the same uh, on the same horizontal line, the same line that's going to be going across? To get that, I would need to make sure that I'm jumping two every time. One, two, one, two, one, two. So that means that the y coordinate would need to stay the same to be keeping a horizontal line. So let's take a look and see if these are going to be on the same horizontal line. These have a y coordinate that's the same. That means that they're going to be on the same horizontal line. Letter B also has the y coordinate that's the same. That's going to be on the same horizontal line. Letter C has the x coordinates that are the same. That means they're going to be on the same vertical line. Letter D also has the same x, I'm sorry, letter D has the same y coordinates. So that's going to be on the same horizontal line. Letter E has the same y coordinates, so that's going to be on the horizontal line. Letter F also has the same y coordinates on the horizontal line. Remember that when you're looking at this, you have to pay attention to which number is the same. If you get stuck, to quickly figure out whether the line is horizontal or vertical, you can just draw a quick sketch. It doesn't have to be perfect as long as you're able to see, well, I ran two, and then I ran two, and then I ran two, so these are all lining up, up and down, or vice versa. So let's go ahead and let's see if these are the same horizontal or vertical lines. Letter A is 5, 2, and 2, 2. So for 5, 2, that's run 5, jump 2. 2, 2 is run 2, jump 2. We can see that they both have the same y coordinate, which means they are going to be lining up horizontally. <clears throat> for letter B, negative 12, positive 3, and negative 12, negative 3. So that means we're going to run negative 12 and jump 3, or run negative 12 and fall 3. We can see that these things don't, they're going to uh, go in different directions vertically. We can also line it up this way. And we can see they're going to fall on the same line. It's extremely helpful to have the original um, x and y axes drawn out here. So I'm going to show that using letter C, but with the drawing and the undrawing, it makes things a little bit more complicated. So for letter C, negative 4, negative 1.25 would be running negative 4, negative 1.25. That would maybe land me there. If I run four, negative 4 and jump 1.87, that's run negative 4. Hey, that's the same distance jumping 1.87, look, these are going to be on the vertical line. For letter D, run 53.1 all the way over here, jump negative 4.3, that's roughly here, that looks right. And if I run 0.1, 5.8, I can see that these are not going to be on the same line there is nothing the same. They're not going to line up at all. Whoops. I mean, technically they would line up like this, but that's just a line, not horizontal or vertical. So for letter E and letter F, they're giving us some options here. They want to figure out which fractions, no, uh, those aren't even options. That's just really bad text. So if we have two and a half and two fifths, or three and a half 
and negative two-fifths, we can see that those are different because two and a half is not three and a half. Those don't match up. Two-fifths is not negative two-fifths. Those don't match up. It looks terrible because of the way that the computer interpreted the text, but that's not the point. Same thing in letter F. Negative a third and a third, or a third and negative a third, those are not going to be on the same lines because they are going in different directions. Have an absolutely fantastic day.